Hey everybody, uh, it's been a minute since I made a video and I was just drinking some cherry flavored uh, water flavoring so my lips are all red, but um, there's been a lot of drama the last couple weeks as far as wedding and family related stuff goes and it kind of, uh, the dog's outside so I'm keeping my eye on him, but it kind of hit a uh, breaking point here and um, yeah, so some dynamics in the wedding have changed, but regardless, um, you know, there just comes a point where it's like, uh, there comes a point where you see who has been there for you for the last seven and a half years. And you see who hasn't been there for you. And uh, and then people that haven't been there for you are trying to, are just not there for you, you know? And it's like, you realize it, but you never have the courage to say anything about it. And then you have finally enough courage to say something about it because you're sick and tired of it. And stuff just happens. <laughs> But regardless, this is my cherry water. Regardless, um, it is what it is. So I wish I could get into more detail with you guys about it, but I don't really think that that is... Um, as much as I would like to express it and get it off my chest, if you will, just to... You know, everything's always so hush-hush, but it is family, and so I'm not really saying much about it. <clears throat> Anyways, so we're supposed to be getting a whole bunch of snow this weekend again. Got the scooter going, got her insured. $8.33 a month. How cheap is that? It's super cheap. I plan on driving it quite a bit this summer. Uh, Sam and I have found kind of a style of camper that we like. Um, <clears throat> she really, which is surprising, she really, really likes the pop-up campers because they do fit all of our requirements of, uh, you know, it, we don't want it to be super long, super heavy. We want to be able to go and, you know, something portable. There he is. Um... So, all of our requirements kind of have come down to another pop-up. We're probably going to go with a really nice new one because, well, because we save a little bit on some of the extras. See, the initial cost of a pop-up is really cheap, if you will, compared to like a hard-sided camper. And... Um, and we can store it in the garage and uh, so that saves us some and insurance wise it's not going to be ridiculous and it, it will be really good because we can go um, camping all over and not have to worry I mean it'll just be good they're playing so that's what we kind of decided on it does have our requirements of like a toilet and a shower and although it's probably not the uh, Whoa. Hey, play nice. Play nice. Although it's probably not the um, craziest, you know, thing we want, right? Because I'd love to have like a huge um, camper pull behind. But it's just hard to find what we are really in the market for right now. And um, yeah. So we can get a brand new pop up for right around 10 grand. Um, a used one for. It looks to be about seven to eight so honestly for the couple grand more I'd rather have a nice brand new one with with warranty because it seems like you always need something fixed on something brand new I mean my Ford Focus needed three different clutch plates three different sets of clutch plates put in my truck now needed the um, high pressure oil cooler line lines replaced and that was under warranty which was cool so Always, there's always something to fix. I mean, there's always defects in new materials and stuff. Hey, play nice, you two. So, yeah. 
Uh, so that's what's going on there. We're really stoked. It looks like um, with how much snow and how long winter is really holding on for us, uh, opening fishing at the tent might be a snow in. So it might be like putt putt across the lake to get in. Um, I was hoping to get up there and grab the camper so I could get it back here and get it cleaned up and sell it. But, <clears throat> um, we'll just, uh, we'll just see how it goes. I don't think I'll be up there till after the wedding. The wedding is in 30, I want to say 38 days. I think it was 40, 40 days a couple, a few days ago. So I think we're at 38 days, or really close to that. And that's exciting because... You know, we've been planning it for a long time. So now that we have, now that we're to the final point of um, uh, finally actually getting married, we're really excited because then we get to go on our vacation and then we are seriously just going to relax. I mean, everybody and everything is always, you know, how's the wedding planning going? What do you have left? Everything like that. And it's just like, I'm ready just to not talk to anybody about a wedding. <laughs> Her and I are really excited to get married, but we're even more excited to go on our honeymoon, I, I think. So And then, you know, all of it's all of it's paid for and ready to go, so Yeah. Super excited. Wish I could get married tomorrow. <laughs> um, other than that, not really a ton going on. Uh trying to think if anything is going on I'm thinking of selling that 4x8 uh, trailer that I've worked on like a hundred times now or actually not selling it registering it and then um, bringing it back down so my dad can use it at his place um, I think that'd be a good one for maybe lumber or something I think that it'd be nice to keep that around since it is a pretty decent trailer um, <clears throat> What else? What else? Um, yeah, we're just kind of finding that really don't need the trailer. I mean, like hauling a canoe is probably a nice thing, but I built that rack for the back of the truck, so I'm hoping that that does me fine. And, uh, you know, that trailer takes up a lot of real estate. And uh, living in the city here, I don't have a lot of real estate to really give. And <clears throat> when I had the car, the trailer was crucial if I wanted to go get lumber or go and bring leaves into the re the uh, recycling place or anything like that. But um, now that I have the truck, I can mainly haul around everything in the bed. So look at this chunk. Hey, Chunky, how you doing? <laughs> so she's purring. Yeah. So that's what's going on there. I just think that someone else would probably get more use out of that trailer than me. And uh, I've yet to ask my dad if he really wants it back or not. I, I could sell it, but I don't really think it's worth much to sell. It may be worth more to, to have around. <clears throat> so, yeah. That is really, that is really it. So, um... Appreciate everybody watching. That's just what's going on. Like I said, we just keep getting hit by snowstorm after snowstorm. So really not a ton going on here as far as activities. It's pretty boring. So yeah. Alright. Thanks for tuning in. Talk to you guys later.